Hello everybody, welcome back or welcome if it's the first movie you are looking uh, when I'm trying. So uh, I'm Jonas Andersson and today we're gonna make Red Ranger since it's uh, close to Christmas. I thought hey, let's do a red fly. Okay, let's begin. Okay, so uh, Red Ranger, I never tried this one. Um, and by, while I was looking up the pattern I actually <laughs> did find uh, a red doctor as well so uh, I'm on the mission to tie all the doctor flies uh, I can find uh, for fishing uh, but that's later so, so let's continue with this uh, uh, bread ranger so waxing the thread starting back at the hook oh honestly maybe I should uh, attach some goods let me see do I have any Gift here on the table. I'm not sure I do. So let me go and get the bag. Let's start. Restart. So starting in the beginning, attaching the thread. Cut off the leftovers, adding plenty of wax to the thread. I think I gotta frame this one. Tying on a 6 0 hook, so it's gonna be quite large. So removing the, the leftovers there might be I will have a little bit larger give tell so to say so let me just adjust that real quick Secure this one. 
there we are. So landing more back straight. sections So now I'm just continuing backwards. We're gonna have extra small tin cell, silver tin cell. So as you know, I'm using Weber's extra small. I got it in my shop as well. If you have a problem finding it, just reach out to me. Here on the spoon, so. so let's take this one. Let's put back the thread first. So, tying in the tin cell. Backwards, 
matching out where I'm gonna tie in the, the silk. And in this pattern you actually got two options, sky blue or yellow. And uh, I go with sky blue. Because almost every pattern is in yellow, so I think it's nice just to do something different. So I'm gonna use a light wax here to secure the floss. mentioned I'm gonna frame this one and put up on the wall. So now I just need my gloves just to make sure I don't ruin the shine of the silk. Backwards to the same thing, same turn forward. And then tying in the sink, I use the volume of the material to build up the body. for the tail I have the prepared topping, the tail actually. Is. I'm going to 
So that there is okay to make sure it's secure. And going backwards again. Now we have a pin tail and ibis. them So there I am at the something decent. Tail in place, cut the leftovers. And then uh, the funny part in this pattern, since it's um, a Maxwell pattern, uh, it's not an uh, ostrich charm, it's actually chenille. So we got some black chenille here. Let's take a little bit of it. A little bit back so the trend. I'm still going with the light one. Tying in the chenille. Changing to black wax.
So it's time for Tinsel and in, in this case it's going to be a broad I use a Weber's a size large silver oval Tinsel Just making sure to secure that on this spool as well We are also going to have a silver twist But first I start with the thick oval one Removing that one, once again waxing the thread. So just pressing it down here, since the chenille shield, tying point is building a little bit. And then we have the twist. So let me add the twist here. Little bit offset so it can meet and go the same line as the, the oval silver tins. Securing that one. So I'm just building up a little bit. this one there's a gold silk that I got normally I don't need to do it since Since it's attached anyhow. This pattern normally calls for red mohair. I didn't have one, so I'm currently thinking about the red pixel or actually go with the seal fur. And I think I go with seal fur. it's on, on my table so it's easier to get hold of otherwise I need to dig into my my pile of stuff so I'm just winding the silk as underbody normally when you have a silk fur etc you don't really need to think about that but want to make it anyhow Just locking the silk.
And a lot of people do like a dubbing loop, adding the silver in it, but I will not do that. Yes, I will be able to pull it out to make it a fluffy body. So let me just start with the end here. Let me check in. So it's not going to be um, a body hackle on this one, it's just going to be a thread. So adding the seal on the thread, just twisting it around. Silver, the whole body is going to be silver. So, working forward. Then I'm gonna brush it, brush uh, the hair out. So, almost done. There we are. Gonna stop there. So we can put the hackel, the skinny blue hackel. I'm just gonna take the leftover hair to back in the back. Doing a quick clean up. Okay, this is going blue. But first, I just want to pull a little bit in the deceiver. Let 
make it a bit more fluffy. Actually gonna use a magic tool. Clean a bit more. So let me see if we have the next spray glue. Just lying around here. So I'm waxing the thread. Let's be honest with you, what I can do before is do the hackle actually. Sorry, the tinsel. Take this one, the twisted one. So now we can cut that one off. Once again, waxing the thread, black wax. Taking this uh, blue hacker, tying it in. Yeah. 
same one. Now we can take this one and miss pulling it backwards. And some back stuck there. Doesn't look good. And there we are. So tying the hackelin, securing it. Wraps, waxing the thread. Cutting the leftovers. Now basically the body is ready. Pull out some more of this silk fur. Pulling down the hackle a little bit. So Next part, young and cook, middle wing. So, let me see if we have any good looking long ones here. So just make a mark where to cut uh, away the, the fibers. And just cutting, cutting it off. what we got. So 
so the length is good. Now I just need to build up the foundation before tying it in. Wax there. Pairing the feathers together again. I like to move away from each other. So, here we are. down same on my side I'm just gonna back the thread a little bit more than a uh, dot of varnish. Let it dry a little bit before continuing with the next step, which are adding the golden fish and tippet. Uh, two pairs actually. Varnish clear. So it's gonna let it dry for a while. Fifteen minutes. sufficient I think yeah. okay so now it's time to add the first pair of uh, golden present so let me start with the waxing the thread
the scene and we can do this. Take a place. So I just come back to the train. Another layer of varnish just to make sure we secure them properly. Since we're gonna add it, um, another pair next to it. I'm gonna let it dry for uh, yeah, five, ten minutes. So let's continue with the wing then, adding the second pair of um, the golden uh, pheasant. It's gonna drag down the fibers of the front tackle before I do anything else. And there we are, looks good. Seeing if there's any silver in the way. Now it looks much better. So I'm gonna wax the thread. It's shifting. So applying a bit of varnish on top of that just to make it uh, stay in place.
so. Playing with the wing a little bit, not too much. Gonna varnish the thread, of course. <clears throat> Pulling down down the fibers before I try to add the wing or the the second pair of um, the golden pheasant. Promise with you. I don't like how it's set sit <clears throat> on the hook. I want it to be more on top. Like it. This side still looks good. Now the bells are on. There we are. Straight on. So, what I'm gonna do now is uh, polish the thread a little bit more. And then... Um, not varnish, waxing. My God. Then we're gonna add varnish after the wax. So we have like yes, uh, sides, we have uh, topping, have horns and the head left. It's gonna be varnished blackhead 
or maybe I do a full blackhead or if uh, to stay with the pattern not actually stated here but if a chenille tag I'll do a chenille head so let me see what kind of options I have when I get there okay so now let's continue with the, the bread ranger uh, I need to add those on the side I actually did my the ones on my side already little bit of varnish there you see yeah, place Now it's time for the topping, so we're gonna back the thread. Now, oh, to be honest with you, it's time to cut off uh, the steams. So, waxing the thread again, that's time to the topping. We don't slide it in place, we put it in place. Just gonna have a look. Yeah, doing a spot on.
some seal fur interfering there, so I just cut it off. Focus. Yeah, there we are. So, I think overall, let's see, pulling it down. Gonna do a few more wraps. Securing it. Waxing the thread. Somehow. Touch a little bit. So I'm gonna wax. Ah, I'm gonna varnish before thinking of cutting off. So, another turn with the varnish. I need to let it dry a little bit, 10-15 minutes. So, the final step is to add the horn, so, so let's give it a try. My dog is here, flapping his ear. One. As you see, I'm preparing for a hurl head, making a bit foundation for the hurl. I think it's gonna look good in the frame. Yeah, the ones are in place. No, nothing strange. There, you see. Oh. 
Yeah, it's yeah, small details. Almost perfect. There you go. Now the hole looks good. So I'm going to prepare for a hard head. Let me see. I need to have a hard. that later. Maybe I do it now. little bit more to play around with but hey I'm not gonna do that in this video Let's 
So adding the hand to make a head. Yeah, I think I'm down there. In the leftovers. Yeah, now I can varnish the head, when it's dry I cut it off, color it black, with black varnish. I'm gonna work on the horns a little bit. Yeah. Maybe do that now. Do you think about making up or what we could have been? I think uh, I just finish off the head, coloring, coloring it with the black varnish. So now we're done uh, tying uh, the red ranger. Um, a new pattern for me. It was um, interesting. I really liked it. So if you like what I'm doing, please sub subscribe to the channel. Um, I'm gonna have an icon here and also uh, I have like a 30, 40, 45 videos and I'm gonna add a playlist, whatever. Um, so when you're subscribing, uh, hit the bell button, thumbs up, uh, add a comment if you want me to tie anything in particular, you know, up to you. Um, it would be fun to have some inspiration tying uh, some rare uh, classic Selma Flies pattern. Uh, uh, I want, want you as the audience to, to uh, yeah, be able to choose. Okay, that's everything for tonight. I hope uh, you liked the video. So, so, see you in the next one.